welcome back everyone my name is Sarah and in these next couple of videos I'm going to be covering the process of photosynthesis in this video I'm going to be talking about the structure of the chloroplasts and some stuff about light the theory of light how it acts all that good kind of stuff and give a brief little overview of the actual process of photosynthesis and in my next videos I'll go into more detail about the photosystems and the Calvin cycle. Photosynthesis is the process by which light energy is captured and then is used to synthesize carbohydrates. The general reaction is you take six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water and light energy in the form of photons to produce a one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen and during this process carbon dioxide is going to get reduced water is going to get oxidized and it is an inorganic reaction which means it requires energy to proceed and that energy like I said is in the form of light energy. Photosynthesis mainly takes place in plants and green algae it can take place in some bacteria too but we're not going to really discuss that. I mean, the process is the same. They just don't have the specialized organelles for it. But anyways, in plants, it's going to take place in the mesophyll of the leaves. Within these meso mesophyll, there are structures called chloroplasts. And these chloroplasts contain what are called thylakoids. They're just little flat membrane sacs. They are these things called photosystems that trap light energy in the thylakoids. And then carbon fixation is going to occur in this stroma of the chloroplast. And you can see my little drawing here of the chloroplast. You got the outer membrane, the inner membrane, the thylakoids, which are organized into big stacks called grana or grana, however you want to pronounce it. The stroma is just this material between the thylakoids and the inner membrane. The plant is going to get water through the roots. Um, it's absorbed and transported up to the leaves through what is called xylem. And CO2 is going to enter through stomata, which are little like pores within the leaf. These stomata are going to prote be protected by guard cells, so nothing else that's, not, that's uh, not supposed to be there is going to come in. And then oxygen is also going to leave through the stomata. So the nature of light, light is a type of electromagnetic radiation. It travels as a wave. It's got short wavelengths or long wavelengths. And it also beha behaves as a particle. Light energy be comes in these little bundles called photons. Light has two different or three different properties rather you've got your velocity which is three times ten to the eight meters per second which is hey freaking fast dude but um this velocity is not going to change for the most part so the properties of light are based on their frequency and their wavelength so visible light has a wavelength of anywhere from 380 nanometers to 780 nanometers and the shorter the wavelength the higher the energy there are several different pigments involved with photosynthesis you got chlorophyll A is the main pigment chlorophyll B and carotenoids are accessory pigments and the color depends on what wavelengths of light are absorbed or reflected or transmitted for example leaves are green because they're going to reflect green lights white like white flowers and things like that reflect all colors of light and a black flower for an example would absorb all colors of light so the actual process of photosynthesis has four different events that happen in two phases you've got your photochemical reactions and electron transport chemiosmosis and carbon fixation and the two phases you've got the light phase where oxygen is generated also uh, hydrogen ions to form the chemiosmosis ATP and NADH and then during the dark phase which is light independent this is going to use ATP, NADPH and carbon dioxide to form carbohydrates 